And that's exactly why you take one of the torches. <laughs> Sixteen or six hundred sixteen points. Well, back again with some more Zork videos. Colloquial Captain here, your uh, guide to the underground underground here. Uh, I have a beer next to me, Hanekin, my preferred choice. Uh, the other ones are also good too. Uh, you know, if you enjoy beer, except for uh, you know nothing about that mead light crap. Uh, raise your glass and. Uh, Compliment. So we're gonna go over here instead of uh, drinking alcohol. The kids shouldn't do that. Why would you do that? It's a bad habit. Drinking alcohol is such a tasty, tasty beer. And we're going to come up here and uh, give this a little look. See, um, you just uh, before this, you should have seen a death animation. What happens when you uh, when you walk into the cave? Get a little bit of text there, flavor text. We're gonna go here. We're gonna save it, and we're gonna take this. We're gonna save over that. We're gonna go up this uh, thing. We're gonna climb upstairs. Let me climb the rope. Hey, look at that! The lantern was taken away, and you have been totemized. Huzzah! We're gonna restore this one. Restore that uh, number one there. Alrighty. Well, instead of you know climbing up and being an idiot, we're gonna use this uh, spell we acquired. Glorf. Glorf. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, we're gonna... Oh, son of a biscuit. Use Glorf, damn it. Do I have to use it on this one down here? Or... Glorf. There we go. Nope. We can use it. We can use Glorf on this rope. There we go. So now we got the rope. No one's going... You know, we're not going back up there anymore. Back down the stairs we go. Hello. And we are uh, getting semi close to the end of this game. It is uh, it's going by pretty fast now. If you uh, pay attention, it's almost done. Actually, do we watch? Uh, well, you know what? We're just gonna go. We'll go down this way. There really isn't any uh, quicker way to go down these areas. Over here, and now that we got this rope, we can do a cool little thing at Flood Dam 3, which we uh, destroyed previously. So now we're going to be here. Quick little jaunts down the rail line. We can come over. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, maybe it's not. Is it not flood control? To oh, you know what? It's a monastery. Never mind. Um, excuse my impetuous nature. And uh, we're gonna take this tram a little farther past Hades over to the monastery. I don't actually recall if we've been to the monastery quite yet. We might not have even uh, stopped there quite yet. Which will be fun. We'll see uh, the sites that are there and the uh, new adventure that awaits. Right here. My face. This place doesn't look safe. I know, right? Because, like, oh, right. And then there's this. And we, so we captured the monastery point. Hey, look. What does that say? It says step. Well, step that's in just here. great. How are we going to get up there? It says steps something. Well, something really cool that we can do. Let's go into our little magic booklet here. This sword appears to be of elven workmanship. Hmm. Standard adventurer wear. You know the type. I agree. And we're going to attach the rope that we just got from it. A sword on a noose. I like that. It's like soap on a rope, only a little tougher to market. I don't know. Well, maybe a little bit. We take this, and now we're just going to chuck this... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Good gracious. We're going to chuck this thing um, straight upwards. I just... I, had, Very I almost clever. died. I hope you can climb up there with all this junk you're carrying. I know, right? At least the vacuum cleaner's gone. 
No, I uh, sorry about that cough there. I have no idea what the hell just happened. I almost died. And See? Uh oh, we can do this whole adventure thing, you and I. And we. I've got a bad feeling about this. I know, right? Well, um, now that we're here with all of our junk, we can see that this is the location that Brog came up. Uh, this is a little hole that he came up with his loincloth and such, and he walked over here and he pressed some buttons and he got totemized. So let's not have that happen to us. We're going to save the game really quickly since we're getting into a, 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 a good amount of uh, locations where we can just totally screw ourselves over and such. Like this? Oh, I just jumped down. Oh, I didn't know we could just jump down. I'm, I have the legs of a cheetah. Let's get back up there. I had no idea. I've never actually tried to go back down before. Damn, my thighs must be like iron. Okay, well, we're gonna go over here. We can see right here. Oh, look at this. We're gonna. We wanna go. We can go straight to hell. We can go to infinity. To Newark, New Jersey. Why would I wanna be. Okay. To the surface of MERS. MERS. America. Ermagerd MERS. And to the Halving Inquisition. Now those are, if you haven't guessed already, this is uh, those are destinations where you'd be totemized from. Permaseal, another fine product from the Perma series. Uh huh. I don't like that Permaseal. Long lasting performance for all of your totemizing needs. If you can read that on your screen, which you should be able to. So like, we can go to all these different places. We don't want to go straight to hell. So let's go to straight to infinity. Because we're going to be showing the a few signs from Port Fuzel? It's that totemizer machine, and it's powered up again. They must have discovered an alternative power source, like building treadmills at the local orphanage. I was about to say, making children run on things. I totally forgot that he said that. Yes. Ah, oh, it's locked. Okay. Well, now that we know that that's locked, and uh, we can't be bothered to care. Mm, informative, yet deeply disturbing. Sorry I can't help. We never covered this in shop class. I didn't either, so somebody goes here, we get pounded-ized, then we go over here, we got squished eyes then we go over here and we got stamped eyes and all the way down here to be permanentized, which is where the permanization happens. Um, ensures permanence of totemization, so that's okay. Yeah. Let's not get permanized. I believe there is a... Yeah. This one right here. That one turns off that, and that one should turn off the permanent section. Yes, you know that it's, you see that it's uh, purple there now. I believe that means that the it's it's off. For the, that the permanent thing is off. Yeah. You think those cranky Inquisition creeps want us to be doing this? You think that creepy crank with a big swirly mustache wants us to be doing this? Maybe. I don't know. We just be clicking buttons. That's like a shark. I never actually noticed that. But right now, we're going to go over here. Hey, uh, what, what, what you planning to do with that switch, huh? You're not thinking of pulling it, are you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what do you know, Delbaz? I don't know. Do you, uh, you know, what do you think I'm going to do? We're just going to take it and we're going to go to pull it to infinity! Because we can. Why not? Ow. See, pulverization. Ow, ow. It's so pretty in here, though. Look at how pretty it is. Oh god, I'm being squished. Oop. Oh, now we're going that way. Oop, and we hit the... okay. Oh, look at... oh, face. We were just damned. Yep, see so we didn't get sprayed, so we're not permanently uh, put into a totem. That's, in, that's fortunate. Oh, look, we're rolling down... Uh, Totem now. Oh dear. Oh, look, it's like a freaking carnival ride. Yeah. Hey, look into hey, a tunnel. Hey, this is pretty. Why are you turning blue? <laughs> Your head explodes. You have died. Huzzah! <laughs> Cause we can. Oh dear. And you know what? Considering that, uh. I mean, you can obviously understand what would happen if I didn't uh, turn that cog and, you know... Oh man, I'm totemized forever. Da -da 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 -da. Adventure's over. We're gonna go to New Jersey, because what more of a hellish hellhole than the infinity of space could there possibly be than New Jersey? 
not to be saying that people from New Jersey are uh, uh, hellish or anything of that sort. I'm gonna travel back through here again. We'll just run through the, uh, you know, totemization process again. See all the pretty colors. We're gonna go to New Jersey, because why the hell not? I mean, if we're going to New Jersey, then we can just escape this whole, you know, Frobaz, electric hummus rods, or hungus rods, or whatever. And now we go in the tube. Bing! A different one this time. We travel over to the left instead of the infinity of space over there. And we're gonna go into New York, New Jersey. <laughs> you are teleported to New York, New Jersey, where you get where you gain gain where you get where you gain where you get gainful employment as an insurance adjuster, buy a condo, and eventually die of Really? Arterial sclerosis at the age of 86. You've been totemized. We have died, but of old age and after living a happy life with a wife and a family in a condo. That doesn't sound too bad, but we're going to still restore it. Because, you know, adventure. You need to finish up the adventure. Unfortunate to say the least, saying that we can't get a condo and whatnot. Um, the surface of MERS, as you can probably tell, is pretty much exactly the same as the Infinity. We just pop out and then we... Uh, Suffocate and her head explodes. I think uh, there's something about an alien showing up or whatnot. And they're, or like, they're like, you, you spot something in the in the dust before you suffocate or whatnot, which is kind of funny as well. But we're going to go to the Hell of Inquisition. Nope, not straight to Hell. If you click straight to Hell, you'll that's that's what you'll do. You'll go, you'll go to straight to Hell and then you'll uh, pop out in the area where Brog was sitting. So you don't want to do that because then you have to come all the way back here. Spend a little more money on Sharon. Or Carmon. But one last time for the totemizer, getting beat up all to hell and smashed into a pancake. And we're going to go to the Hall of Inquisition. You're sitting on my head. Hello? Epic music, by the way. You take one down and pass hey, one lady! Thanks. When they left me behind in the bin, I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. Oh, no. You guys are totems, too. Yeah. We all got squished. What did you do? I was part of the resistance. You know, the magic underground. There's a whole movement in the streets. Ugh. Well, somebody better clean it up. You can get a pretty stiff fine for that sort of thing. Mm. Now that's a rule I can live by. <laughs> and to think of people once ruled the empire. <laughs> Arrest the planet. Wait, it, it's not what you think. Really? What am I thinking? Hmm. Gee, it's hard to tell. There's so much interference coming from your mustache. You're out of milk. And, uh, your pants are chafing you. <laughs> and you're going to totemize every magic creature in the Empire. And here I thought that oppressing the regular folks was enough of a full-time job. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> For you, I'll make the time. Take her to the totemizer. <laughs> what? Over a bit of paint? Well, listen, it doesn't matter what you do, telepath. Your species, like all magic, has been declared extinct. Take her to the totemizer. What? No rack? No gallows? What kind of loser inquisition is this? <laughs> it's attitude like that that has made the house of Flathead what it is today. Fallen! <laughs> oh, the rebellious sort. You know, don't, I, don't, I don't quite get the Flathead thing, but you know. You get some history here. <clears throat> so, the, uh... This whole Inquisition area. What the? Oh, this is this place. Okay. Never mind. I completely forgot. Um, we get to see some history of the Empire through the uh, through the eyes of the Inquisition. 
Havoc struck Quendor when the wizard of Frobaz, the court magician of Lord Dimwit Flathead, accidentally transformed Dimwit's famed castle, Flatheadia, into a mountain of fudge. In one errant stroke of wayward magic, the wizard simultaneously destroyed both the skyline and the waistline of the house of Flathead. Ah, so that's why the flathead is flathead and the dimwit is a dimwit. Okay, so there's the, uh, there's the fudge that we put into our cocoa, you know. Well, uh, there's a little lever, because we can. The history of Zork was rarely a chronological study until the Inquisition officially sealed the ancient network of time tunnels that runs beneath the Empire. History in Zork now happens but once, and there are, as the Quentorian schoolchildren are known to say, no backsies. No backsies, man. Serious things. Serious stuff. Look over here, we'll see the, the alchemical debate. In the mid-10th century GUE, a group of rogue alchemists seeking the fifth element of the quintessence of immortality released a vengeful force known as the Nemesis. The Nemesis tormented innocence, and a great many less than innocence, when innocence could not be located throughout the Eastlands. And if you uh, did not know, that's a little bit of either it's either lore or it's uh, a premonition of the coming future. I believe it's because um, I don't remember which game came first, whether it was Nemesis or it was Zork Grand Inquisitor. But there is another Zork game called Zork Nemesis, and that uh, that little story right there is pretty much the entirety of that uh, that game, which is also a great game, which I might play, depending. I guess we'll see. In 773 GUE, a local civil servant caused unspeakable devastation to the city of Marillon when he attempted to cast Zemdor, a spell that turns originals into triplicate, and accidentally cast Zimbor, a spell designed to turn one really big city into lots of tiny little ashes. He reportedly apologized to the city with the words, Whoops, my bad. Well, what else would you say? I mean, really, if you set a city on fire and you accidentally, you know, put an E, or you put an I where you're supposed to put an E, you know, what What else are you going to do other than be like, Whoop, my bad. My bad. All right, over here, what we can do is we can turn this sucker up to full bore. A chronological study until the Inquisition officially sealed the ancient network of time tunnels that runs beneath the Empire. History in Zork now happens but once, and there are, as the Quentorian schoolchildren are known to say, no backsies. I. Okay, so what we had to do is we had to pop that guy up. I. I don't actually remember how we're supposed to... Hmm. I think we have to go find another hammer. There's another hammer somewhere we, that we have to give that guy so he can, uh, you know, crack open that, that thing right there. But here, we are going to go outside. Wow, look it. We're outside now. We're behind the fence. See, this is where we were before. Remember at the beginning of the game when we came by? Yep. So we have a new, uh, new perspective on the fence with all the cameras facing the opposite way. Is, you know good and right here we have the little you know code talk thing whatever the hell this is supposed to mean um we have all these different things here we can do we can have uh we can send a transmission that says abandon the post apprehend goatfish for interrogation or drop a large bomb all guards immediately all guards come immediately to shoot to kill you know that's that's a good one all guards take off early tonight you deserve it babies Put all the citizens of Port Fuzzle into a large blender. Do the thing that causes the moon to fall apart and crash down. Message, message centered down, totemize was ever responsible, which is, yeah. Release the Memblat's death ray. Okay, well, you gotta give me a minute here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna jot a couple of these things down because we're gonna do a couple of these. So I'll be back in a second. Okie dokie. So I just uh, took a picture of the screen here with my phone, you know, because noob like that. I don't know how to. Uh, I don't remember what that hand does at all. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
Do I give you something? Do I give you money? Perhaps? No, no monies? Okay. I'm gonna click this button. And look! We have the numbers! This looks like some kind of wacko communication device the guards here must use. Oh man, use. we're gonna... Yeah, oh, no. sure do like his toys, don't he? Oh man, I don't wanna... I don't want him to go apprehend the goatfish, that's bad. We can take one of these. Yep. Whoops. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Jeez, I'm sorry, kid. Looks like you're on the Inquisition's most wanted list, thanks to me. If it's any consolation, I think you're much better looking than the police sketch. That's oh, thanks. Oh. Take a mega hammer. As your body is scattered from Port Fuzel to Frone, you recall the three Psy Raps, two Pi Raps, and one Pi Rap. And one Psy Rap spells out the message, Drop a large bomb here. Your consolation is that you uh, take part in... Oh, wait, what is that you... Is that part of you landed on the Grand Inquisitor and knocked a contact lens out? Well, at least, you know, that's... We got that to look forward to. And, uh, of all of our mischievous ways, we're you know, taken, taken out in a large bomb of some sort. We're gonna, instead of taking the Omega Hammer, we're gonna take which one? Which one will get us to get shot here? <laughs> I think it's this one. It should be this one. Yeah! Shoot to kill. Wait. Jeez, I'm sorry, kid. Looks like you're on the Inquisition's most wanted list, thanks to me. If it's any consolation, I think you're much better looking than the police sketch. They don't know me. They don't like it. Okay, sigh. Okay. All this Omega stuff. Spell as mentions. All guards come immediately and bring heavy weaponry. Shoot to kill. The irony is not lost on you, nor are all the bullets. Each finds its own mark beautifully. You have died. <laughs> well, at least they're good at shooting me. I mean, if they're that much of a crack shot, that's probably a good thing. Unfortunately, we can't take out more than one hammer, I believe. Um, I'd, I would have loved to have all the people get put into a, you know, a blender and and a, a whatnot. But, you know, that's uh, that's that. We'll just take this one, the correct one. No bombs or bullets for us. Hey, look at that. Hmm, I'd say the Inquisition has way too much time on its hands. You deserve it, babies. So no more guards. Perfect. Alrighty, so now that we have free reign around the outside of the building... Nope, oh, nope, not the right... Go back inside. Go over here and travel into a time tunnel. Now this thing is ready to go. Bam! And look, it's a time tunnel hidden behind the slats. Use our uh, good old Norwile. Nor yeah, I'm gonna go to Norwile. Open that baby up. And uh, we'll quickly save here, because I don't actually know what happens if I use the wrong totem. Because, you know, I haven't uh, I've never played this game quite so much that I uh, yes, fucked man. it up that bad. But we're gonna use the dragon, see what happens. Hey, look, we're dragging. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking for some kind of a coconut, right? There's some, <laughs> some magic freaking thing I'm a jig. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, no, we're not looking for a coconut at all. Um, there's that thing. Well, well, oh, I don't know about this. I'm not so sure this is a good idea. Are you sure? It's Jack's place. Hey, it's ladies' night. Let's knock on that door. We don't serve your kind here. <laughs> Oh, um, I'm just gonna take that as a no. You dick. Come back here. Breathe fire in your face. You're gonna have to wait outside. <laughs> oh. oh, that's just great. <laughs> I'll wait out here with the droids. With the droids? Uh, one more time. You know, third time's a charm. We don't serve your kind here. No. <laughs> Give me that look. Uh, um, Mr. I'm just crazy take eyes. That is a no. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess not Let's the dragon. Go. Okay. I am. Um, no, when I'm not wanted. Oh. Oh. Such feels. God damn it. So many feels. Oh. Poor. 
Maybe Grog has a better chance. You know, right? Who, who, even though it's supposed to be ladies' night and we know what we're supposed to do, let's take Grog. You know, he needs out some, some time out of the totem. Who doesn't? Brog feel funny here. Oh, body, body. Oh, little body, you came back to Brog. Nice blue body. Brog miss you. I know, man. Get, some, get out and stretch your legs a little bit. Now we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, very funny, guys. Good joke. But no, I'm down here, Brog. You son of a bitch, you should have said something. Ha ha, morons. Aww. <laughs> Poor Brog. <laughs> he can't reach high enough to get to the door. Wee! <laughs> Air Brog. Mm hmm. Well, now that we've tried, to, you know, the other two totems, we know which one it is, considering it's supposed to be ladies night anyways. We're gonna... Change into... Yes, I totally forgot her name already. Change it to her. It won't work like that. You need to cast it on a totem while standing oh, next to a time tunnel. I wasn't next to the time tunnel. Okay. My bad. Yes, Such silliness. Okay. Sweet Yurik. God, does it feel great to get out and stretch. 